Trello is a project management tool, but in engineering discipline, most project managers still use Gantt charts. In this video, I will show you how you can make a Gantt chart from your Trello board using a Trello power-up called Team Gantt. This is not a Gantt chart tutorial. This is a tutorial of Team Gantt power-up. And we are starting after this short break. Hello and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time, please hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell to get notified whenever I post a new video on this channel every Tuesday and Friday. Trello is a project management tool and very useful tool where you create boards and inside boards you create lists and in every list you put some cards and those cards contain your task which you have to complete for a project. Traditionally, most project managers, they use Gantt charts, which are horizontal bar charts showing the progress of the project on a timeline. But Trello has many power-ups and these power-ups are available in many different fields. And one of those power-up is called Team Gantt. By using this power up, you can create Gantt charts from your Trello boards and your cards will automatically or manually can be synchronized to your Team Gantt projects. So this is a five step process and I will show you all these five steps with an example of an engineering project. And now I will jump on my computer and I will demonstrate this. This is my uh, Trello dashboard. And as you can see that I have uh, many Trello boards Every board represents a project and for this video I am going to use an engineering project example. In a Trello board we have lists. So this is my first list, this is my second list and third list. And I have named these lists in a generic way so that any non-engineering student will also be able to understand. Now the scenario I am using for this project is that we are a crane manufacturing company and we have recently signed a contract and a crane specifications uh, have been agreed with the client and now we are in a planning phase and we are trying to plan this project how we are going to design fabricate and then deliver this crane and these are some of the tasks which we have to uh, perform in order to complete this project and we have to make a Gantt chart for this project. You can manage this project on Trello without having a Gantt chart but sometimes it is a requirement that you have to create a Gantt chart. Now Trello has many power-ups and if you type trello.com backslash power ups in your browser you should be able to see this page and on this page as you can see that these are some of the featured power ups and all these power ups add extra functionality to this software team gantt this is the power up and with this power up we can have these features included in our trello boards to add this power up we can click on this add power ups this is one way to add the power up the other way is Click on this show menu on the right hand side and on this menu we have this power ups icon and I have the ability to add three power ups because uh, I have this gold membership and if you are using the free Trello account you can only add one power up at a time. So you can still add this power up and practice with me if you want. So I'm going to click on add power up and then I will type here again and I will add this power up and then we have to click add once again and now I can see here enabled one power up and now I can close this window from here so one step is missing in this video and that is when you will try to enable this plugin if you don't have any account uh, with team Gantt you will be prompt to add your details your email and your name so just enter your email and name and immediately uh, without any uh, disturbance and without leaving uh, this area you will get a free account from Team Gantt. I want to show you another way to access your Team Gantt account so that you can later on if you want to uh, change your project you can do that because with your free Team Gantt account you will only get one free project. So I have an account with them but I have just deleted my previous project and now I will show you how to create a Team Gantt project. You click on view in Team Gantt and then settings 
uh, on the left hand side you will see this synchronized with the project but if I click here I currently don't have any project so to do that I click on account settings again and these are my projects on the left hand side in me section uh, I have my projects and currently there is no project there is zero task so I click on my project no project found and now I click on create a new project and I can uh, give any name and now I use this blank project template and I just click on create new project. So if you are new you can watch this tutorial video on uh, their website otherwise uh, I would just like to close this uh, area and now inside this I can close this as well and now if I click view in team Gantt I can see this project crane project and to see your Gantt chart you just have to click on view in team Gantt the project has been selected if you see this tick otherwise you have to select the project now this option is selectable and you click on that and now it is creating our Gantt chart now this Gantt chart is empty Gantt chart is basically a horizontal chart bar as you can see here uh, it is trying to create this Gantt chart and it shows your project plan on a timeline and on that timeline you can see the schedule dates you can see the deadlines you can add milestones and you can see some other useful information such as dependency of one task on another task so this is what we are going to do this is not a complete Gantt chart tutorial so I will quickly show you few important features or few basic features which you can implement using this team Gantt power up and then you can practice or if you are a project manager uh, you must already be familiar with what are some other things you should be doing on your Gantt chart so let us uh, create Gantt chart for uh, our task some of our tasks so the first task is calculation and design so this is the first thing we have to do for a crane uh, manufacturing we have to design the crane do some calculations this gray is today's date in order to uh, assign uh, some time for this task to design engineer first I have to click on this and as soon as I click here now I can put this anywhere I want so let's say I put it here so this is the Gantt chart the simplest one day task but if I want to increase the length of the chart what I can do is I hover over this and then I can drag this for example I want to give uh, five days to my design engineer to design this crane so I just uh, leave it there so now this is five days now let's assume that uh, on 14th I ask my design engineer how much uh, work you have done and he says that he has done 20% of the work and I want to put that on my Gantt chart to do that I just hover over this blue area and on the right hand side I can see this pencil edit task I click on that it will show me this dialog box I will put 20% here instead of 0 click outside it will show me this uh, little bar going up and then I can simply close this dialog box it will show a wheel and then it will update this to 20% as you can see 20% and the project is 20% now let's see how we can add uh, the dependencies so for example this cutting of steel cannot be started until the design is finished therefore I click on this and I put it after the design finish date let's say two days after the design to give a little bit of uh, time so I click it uh, put it here and then again in the same manner I give these guys uh, uh, let's say three days or four days to complete the cutting now I have to put the dependency of this uh, steel cutting on design so to do that I just click uh, on this dot after the design I click and drag it and then attach with the other one now it means is that this task cannot be started until this is finished similarly welding structure I go there I put it somewhere here so let's say a little bit more time and now again I can uh, add the dependency here between these two 
Now, the next thing is for example, I have done this in mistake. There is some mistake here and I want to delete this from my uh, Gantt chart. To do that, I need to go out of this Gantt chart and into the welding card on my Trello board. And on this card, I have this team Gantt task and I click on remove and then it will ask me to confirm and I say remove. And now this task is removed from my Gantt chart. And what you what difference you see on the card is that all those cards which were automatically synchronized with my Gantt chart, they have this symbol 20% and these three lines. So these charts are synchronized. But now this welding task, it has not been synchronized because I have removed this from my Gantt chart. So if I want to synchronize this again with my Gantt chart, I need to click again. And now this time I click on team Gantt on the right hand side. And as soon as I click on that, it will uh, ask me add card to existing project or add card to a new project. So I am on the free plan. I only have one project. So add card to existing project. And now it will show me the name of the project. I click again on this and now it will add this card and now I can close this and now I can see that it has been added to the project because I can see this 0%. To go back to my Gantt chart again, view and then Gantt chart. And now this is my Gantt chart which shows the completion of this task to 20% and completion of the whole project to 11%. Uh, this is not very accurate because I have not assigned times to some of the tasks. This is just an example when you will assign uh, the time to all your tasks, then the true picture will emerge here. But this is how you use this Team Gantt Power Up to make Gantt chart of your Trello boards. So I hope you like this video. If so, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.